Good morning, good afternoon, Manira Ganaka. Welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV channel. My name is Prince Miller. Welcome to our TV channel, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, and hit the just put on the button click on the button below on this channel subscribe to our channel follow me on twitter at uh, prince miller prince M. miller on twitter uh on our twitter handle is uh, p miller ent you know um so just say say guys in you know, a coronavirus you know um yeah lockdown is starting on thursday in south africa so now it's tuesday when is the thursday we're gonna be locked down for 21 days so to make sure that you get all the necessary you know like my supplies like food in gonna um just as what you are into day in day they say good my shops i think i have for but um, most of most of us we don't stay near my shops and it so we have to make sure good is only um i think that's because so anyway uh the topic that we have to discuss today is about Zororo Makamba family uh the uh, the topic yeah uh, the, the it's it is trending right now uh the article yeah Buddha daily news a good uh, Makamba family few yeah, it says um, uh, Makamba fumes over Zororo's death. In, uh, so uh, below is a full statement made to the Daily News by the late Zororo Makamba family after he became the first Zimbabwean to succumb uh, to coronavirus at Wilkins Hospital in Harare yesterday. Zororo was was the son of the business mogul and business mogul and an PF politician james makamba you know uh once again zoror makamba may you may you so rest in peace you get uh, such a young man taken early from us you know may you so rest in peace family spokesperson uh tawanda makamba elder brother to zororo spoke to daily news reporter cindy cindy so um Flope, and below is the is uh what he said Zororo was in New York for 20 days and uh, when he came back he had a slight flu, a cold. He then went to his general practitioner and they checked him to coronavirus symptoms and they say he didn't have them at the time. He was just told that he had a cough, a flu because in New York it's cold and here it's hot. So then they treated him for flu and he became and he came back home on friday last week he started developing a fever and his doctor recommended that he had to be admitted this is because zororo had a tumor removed from from just under his left lung last year in november and he was uh, under an 18 month recovery time frame his immune system was already compromised so the doctor was very keen that he gets into hospital and he receives proper medication to help him to get over the flu and fever he was further advised to go to wilkins hospital to test for for, for the coronavirus he arrived at wilkins hospital at by 10 a.m and samples were, were collected from him and we were told that the results would be in after six hours after six hours uh, there were no results and this general practitioner called to find out why the results had not been available yet the hospital officials then told the gpa that um, they had no run the test yet they were waiting for samples from provincial hospitals to run them all at once the doctor got frustrated and started questioning why they had not run the test given that Zororo condition was deteriorating. After some time, then they decided to run the test and in the meantime, in the meantime we took him home and he needed oxygen. His uh, general practitioner phoned around and, and an ambulance came home and the ambulance came home to deliver the oxygen and then we got the positive results for coronavirus at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the, the following day. They told us that now they told us that now they had confirmed that he had the virus he had to be to be taken to, uh, to the weekend's hospital for treatment. When we then inquired if we could bring him 
bring him immediately and we were told that the hospital was not ready to receive coronavirus patients so in the morning we, we waited and waited and they were still not ready to admit him he ended up being admitted around 10 a.m uh, and at 11 a.m in the morning so he was so which means that uh, he was he was uh, tested uh, positive for coronavirus at about two o'clock in the morning, early in the morning. So they 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 only admitted him to Wilkins Hospital at about uh, ten or eleven in the morning, you know. So uh, his doctor made it clear earlier on that he had to be on a ventilator because he could not breathe. However, when we got at Wilkins Hospital, there was no ventilator ventilator no medication and even the oxygen would run out would run out and they had to get it from the city of Harare. after that we ran around to find a ventilator for him and we managed to get a portable ventilator from a family friend who had a relative to use the ventilator before he died in, te in terms of medicine you need to breathe they they didn't have it there we had to go and buy it in south africa we ended up finding some today, yesterday, just as he was passing away at a local pharmacy. Here the hospital was telling us it was not locally available. Okay, we ended up, we ended up finding some today, yesterday, just as he was passing away at a local pharmacy. So Mushonga we were to one Mushonga in Zonia Aupo, Unu Gawa South Africa. Wakato zungu wana upa pharmacy eh, in a zero watu asata shaya zake. So uh, but the hospital ya kato zungu mush, uh, mushongo uyu au uh, wani kwe uh, locally unu wani luka ku, kunze ku South Africa. So you means uzu zungu you know, kutu mushongo uyu South Africa uzu ya Zimbabwe and it's a lockdown in uh, uh, you have to look at time, time frame time in the city side kwao in this instance you know uh, so uh, when they brought the ventilator on Sunday by 2 p.m. and we, we and we and, and and when we go the year because the portable ventilator had an, a, an American plug they told us to get an adapter because they only had round sockets at the hospital I then rushed to buy an adapter and came back and they never used it when I asked why they were not using the ventilator, they said they had no sockets in his room. So they didn't have medication, ventilators. We bought them a ventilator and they didn't have sockets in his room. Uh, I told them that I had an extension code and pleaded with them to use the code, but they refused. They forced us to come here but failed to deliver on their promises. We, when Zororo had this operation, he had it at Harare, no, at Health Point Clinic. I contacted the, the people at Health Point and asked if they were willing to take Zororo in, and they said yes. And then they had already set up a facility to accommodate him. We then ap appealed to Minister, the Health Minister Obadia Moyo, that since he are not prepared at Wilkins Hospital, we can take we can take him to health point and he refused minister Moore said we could not take him there and that he needed to be treated at wilkins we were puzzled and wondered how is how he could say that zoroko should be treated at wilkins when they don't even have the plugs in his room to connect the ventilator he promised us all sorts of things all sorts of things that, that this morning yesterday they would definitely be a ventilator equipment but nothing materialized if you go to the if you go inside there you would see that they are not prepared to handle cases this side the minister at some point also suggested that we could take him to a trauma center in Borodil when it was now time for us to go to Borodil trauma they refused us to go there he said they got the owner of Borodo Trauma Center to call me and he told me that he could come and set up in ICU at Wilkins for Zororo, for Zororo complete with a ventilator and monitors. But he said that we had to, we had to pay US dollar $120,000 for the equipment. He added that once Zororo finished using the equipment and recovers, 
we had to donate the equipment to Wilkins Hospital. So basically the hospital wanted us to buy the equipment for them. We don't have US dollar 120,000 US dollar. We don't have US dollar 120,000 dollars. It, it is not our responsibility to buy equipment for the government. On top of that, remember, this is a critical patient. Um, nurses would only visit him after two hours because they were afraid of handling this his situation. Um, we had to phone from home, calling the next nurse station to tell them that Zororo was in distress and that his oxygen was finished because they were not going to check on him. It even got to a point where they were telling us that uh, we have bothered, we are bothering them but Zororo was struggling in the My mother and his fiance had been packed out the year for past two days and they would not allow us to come in. The minister lied to us on many occasions. He lied to us that they were going to bring equipment, doctors. My mother and his fiance have been packed out here for the past two days and they would not allow us to come in. The minister lied to us. Uh, he lied to us that they were going to bring equipment, doctors, but nothing materialized. We reached out to President Emerson Nangagwa, the First Lady Auxilia Nangagwa, who promised that Zororo could be transferred to Beatrice and, they were, and that they were, there was a room for him. Nothing came out of, the, of this. We even appealed to them saying if they failed then they should allow us to take him home, treat him ourselves because really what, what he needed was oxygen. At the end, before he died, he kept telling us that he was alone, scared, and the staff was refusing to help him to a point where you could, where you, he got up and tried to walk out, and they were trying to restrain him. So this is how my younger brother ended up dying. I want people to know that the government is lying. Remember, at some point, I spoke to the president, you see, and he was saying that. The, the report he received about Wilkins from the minister, the minister the, from the health minister, is that uh, there is equipment and medicine. However, right now, they don't even have water at Wilkins. So if you come here to be treated for corona, for corona, there is absolutely no treatment. You will get, you will die. I'm not a health care giver, but I have respect for nurses and doctors. The doctors were in contact to where he at Wilkins stand would would turn off his phone yet he was critical contact person. The nurses also refused to help us. So people need to know that the government is ill prepared. It is not ready to deal with the virus. Right now we have been outside since twelve PM and they had not given us his body, neither if they told us the way forward. Sororo passed away between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. today, yesterday, and the hospital called us to come and look at his body. When we got there, we were, we were however, told that they, they had already put his body in a body bag and taken to the mortuary. Until now, 5 p.m., we have been waiting for further communication, and uh, they have not even given us any of his belongings. This is such a heartbreaking experience for us and it goes to show the lack of seriousness our government is, is in dealing with coronavirus. So guys, this is the article that's written in uh, Daily News, the article uh, uh, in Daily News uh, with Angash um, Taurapa, uh, it's uh, his brother, his uh, brother is a family spokesperson, uh, Tawanda Makamba, that's his elder brother, you know, so uh, rest in peace to Zororo Makamba, you know, it said that the government, you know, uh, uh, one five, one six, one seven, but Wakasuka Papa ground, banning a pen one twenty, one twenty five, one thirty. I don't want to go political, politically much about this issue, but remember this is I'm afraid to Those people are not capable. Co, basically, uh, uh, just imagine with uh, last year, 
how many cars at how many motors 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 that are on at Zipinda Mzimbabwe, Ma Bungati, Ma 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 Chi Ma Chi Those cars cost 320, uh, 320,000 US dollars. Some cars cost as much as 600,000. Some cars cost as much as 1 million US dollars. But at a proper infrastructure like hospitals, you know, that. so our hospitals are are being put at spotlight at the moment and are we be able to actually you know uh, for this virus a son of a tycoon james makamba how about in india can the government do something for for me definitely no so zimbabwe zimbabweans this is not a political thing. This is just a, a reality that coronavirus in Zimbabwe, can I hear more coronavirus, hear more Zimbabwe coronavirus, is deadly. And Wilkins Hospital is not capable to actually hold as many people as one person. If you got something to say about this whole situation, yeah, James Maka, yeah, Zoro Makamba, may you so rest in peace. You are such a young guy who was gonna be he was going to be one of the top media personalities in Zimbabwe. I will tell you because Angane insight, Angane that, Angane that idea, Angane, and he was, you know, he was he, he was on track. He was on track to become one of the best in this business in terms of the media. So uh, may he so rest in peace. I was so shocked that he was, that he passed away because of coronavirus. Man, come on, you see. I know some people always want to comment, ask to comment, saying, "Mana we, mana, eh, eh, mana mo nwe zanpi, eh, what, what, eh, what, what, guys." It is what it is. Can I anaro? Can I ariyo? Mama, can I ariyo? Mama, fungira kuya yo. Ko ko tenga shitesi. Munda munda anima fungira ki. But at the end of the day, test it shango fa. You know, we all we all gonna die at some point. But my fear on that is So may you so rest in peace, uh, Jim, uh, Zororo Makamba. You know, uh, we we'll keep you up to date, guys, on what's going on in South Africa at the moment. Uh, Thursday is a uh, is a uh, it's gonna be a lockdown. You know, uh, until 16th April. Uh, to my one So we're gonna be doing videos. We're gonna be doing videos. Uh, we're gonna be giving you uh, stories. We're gonna be giving you audios. We're gonna be giving you everything for the for for the, for the next three weeks because the is in a that's on Godzilla Paden Saga. Thank you guys for 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 listening. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Muskera Mushe, Murara Mushe, Mumuka Mushe. I thank you.